and how are you now today we are going to solve question number 6 from exercise 16.2 from rd sharma class 9 circles chapter so it says that prove that the line joining the midpoint of a chord to the center of the circle passes through the midpoint of the corresponding minor arc so here we have a circle and we have a chord now this is your chord ab and it is the center of the chord o is the center of the chord and this is your minor arc this portion is your minor arc now you have to prove that the line joining the midpoint of the chord let's say it's the midpoint of the chord to the center this line joining the uh, chord the midpoint of a chord to the center of the circle passes through the midpoint of the corresponding minor arc like this this will go like this now this line let's say it's line l l is joining this so basically you have to understand this question very clearly it's very important question as well so yahan par um, hum proof se start start karenge we'll start with the proof so first of all construction you have to join ao and ob and you have to suppose that this line l is perpendicular to ab right so it means this angle will be equal to this angle 90 degree each right so now we'll take these two triangles and if in these two triangles basically we have to prove let's say it's point q we have to prove that this arc this arc is equal to this arc right in order to prove the this see this arc is subtending an angle this see this arc is subtending this angle and this arc is subtending this angle so it means if we prove these two uh, these two angles as equal then the arcs will be automatically proved as equal so in order to prove these two angles as equal we'll take these two triangles and prove them congruent so in the proof we'll take let's say it's point m in triangle aom and triangle bom in these two triangles see ao will be equal to bo now i think you might know the reason it is the radii of same circle now angle amo will be equal to angle bmo because each is equal to 90 degree because we have supposed that l is the bisector right bisector of the chord now uh, these two conditions and after that om is equal to om because this is common now we have proved that triangle aom is congruent to triangle bo m by which rule it is by rhs now if the triangles are congruent then we can prove that angle aom is equal to angle bom by cp ct right if these two angles are equal this implies that arc aq will be equal to arc bq because the angles are equal the angles subtended by these arcs are equals it equal it means the arcs will be automatically proved equal so what we basically did we suppose that l is the right bisector of this chord right and if it's a bisector of the chord then this angle and this angle both will be equal to 90 degree then in order to prove these as equal we took these two triangles and proved them congruent by these following reasons and hence this is the required proof of this question it's very simple but just basic understanding you need to uh, take so thank you for watching this video